Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the second part of 14th lecture of Statistics and Probability Theory. We will continue with the topic Negative Binomial Distribution. In an NBA National Basketball Association Championship Series, the team that wins 4 games out of 7 is the winner. Suppose that teams A and B face each other in the championship games and that team A has probability 0.55 of winning a game over team B. What is the probability that team A will win the series in 6 games? So what is happening here that uh, there is a championship series and uh, uh, Two teams are playing or facing each other, team A and team B. And uh, the probability of winning of team A is 0 0.55. Whereas, uh, the championship series will be win by the team who win the four games. So now, what you have to find in the part number A, you have to find that team A will win the series in 6 games. Now, let's uh, imagine the uh, properties of the negative binomial distribution. The very first property was that there will be two possible outcomes which is success and failure. As you can see from uh, the statements that there are two uh, outcomes. Uh, either A will win or A will not win. If A will win, then obviously B will lose the series. Or if B will win, then A will lose the series. And as we are interested in winning of team A, so our success will be the, uh, our success will win the team A will win. So, whenever team B will win, it would be the failure. So, there are two possible outcomes. Second property is uh, the trials are not fixed. So, here what we want? We want the team A to win. And when team A will win, when uh, they will win the four games in a championship. So, you have to do the trials. Till then, you will uh, find out that team A will win the four games. So they are playing a championship of a series of six games, and uh, you have to play the game uh, until that A will win the fourth game. And the third property is the success of trials are independent as they are playing the games, and each game is independent from the other. And probability of success is constant as we are interested in the probability that team A will win and its probability of winning is 0 0.55. So this will remain constant in each game. So the probability of success is 0 0.55. And as you know that uh, here we have two possible outcomes. So uh, Q will be. 1 minus B, which is the probability of winning of team B, which is obviously 0 0.45. 1 minus 0.55 will be 0 0.45. So, number of successes is 4, and we have to find that A will win this. As we know, the probability mass function of negative binomial distribution is this. So, by substituting x is equal to 6, we will find out the probability that A will win the series in 6 games. So, here x is equal to 6, k is equal to 4 and p is 0 0.55, q is 0 0.45. So, by simplifying this, you will get the probability that A will win the series in 6 games which is 0 0.1853. Part number B, they are saying that what is the probability that team A will win the series? So, 
In part number A, they were saying that what is the probability that A will win the series in six games. Now here they are saying that what is the probability that A will win the series. So what's happening here that number of successes are four as we know from the statement of the question that A will win the four games and then the team will declare as the winner. So we will consider that what are the scenarios in which A will declare as the winner. The first will be that A will win the series on 4th game. They are playing 7 games and uh, uh, it is quite obvious that uh, A, Team A will be all first 4 games consecutively. So they will declare as a winner or A will win the series on 5th game or A will win the series on 6th game or A will win the series on 7th game. So, all these are the scenarios in which we can say that A will win the series. So, as the probability mass function is designed or defined for the team A to win, so we will substitute probability x is equal to 4 for A will win the series on 4th game. x is equal to 5 for A, A will win the series on 5th game. And similarly for probability x is equal to 6 and probability x is equal to 7. So by simplifying this, as you know that probability mass function of the negative binomial distribution, we uh, should know that k, uh, which is we know 4, uh, and the value of x, p, which is probability of success, q, which is probability of failure, by substituting all these values in the probability mass function of negative binomial distribution, you will get the whole situation. And by simplifying this, you will get 0 0.6083. Uh, this is the probability that A will win the series. And we know that probability mass function of negative binomial distribution for the number of successes is x minus 1 p k minus 1 p e raised to power k and q raised to power x minus k. This is the situation that probability that A will win the series. Part number C. If teams A and B were facing each other in a regional play of series, which is decided by winning 3 out of 5 games, uh, what is the probability that team A would win the series? Now, the situation is changed. They have say, said that uh, the winner will be declared that uh, they should win the 3 games out of 5 games. So, now what is the scenario here? Now the number of successes is changed. In the previous situation, they were uh, given as the option that in the previous situation, they were saying that the winner will be declared whoever wins the 4 Game. So, k will be equal to 4. Now, in this situation, they will declare the winner on the basis who will win the 3 games. And we have to find that a will win the series of 5 games. So, uh, they are playing 5 games. What are the situations that a will win the series? So, first situation is a win all first 3 games. Game number 1, game number 2 and game number 3. So Obviously, team A will declare as a winner or A will win the series on 4th game or A will win the series on 5th game. So, by substituting the uh, probability mass function and the values of the parameters, uh, A will win the series when probability x is equal to 3 or 
probability x is equal to 4 or probability x is equal to 5 as x is linked with the probability of success which is the winning of the game A uh, point 0.55. Five. So, whenever you substitute the value of x, it would indicate for the A will win the game. If you substitute uh, x is equal to 1, uh, it will indicate uh, that team A will win on the first game. If you substitute x is equal to 2, it will indicate team A will uh, win the series on the second game. So, as they are saying that A will win the series on third game, so we will substitute x is equal to 3. So, 0.5931 is the probability that A will win the series. Example number 2. Find the probability that a person flipping a coin gets the third head on the seventh flip. And the part number B is the first head on the fourth flip. So, uh, what's happening here? Uh, the person is basically flipping a coin and uh, you are interested in head. Either it is first head or third head. But your success will be on head. So from here, we can say that P means probability of getting a success or probability of getting a head is 1 by 2. So it is obvious that Q will be equal to 1 by 2. So part number A, what they are saying that uh, a person will get the third head on the seventh flip. So, by defining the probability mass function, which would be equal to probability x is equal to x minus 1 and t minus 1. P raised to power K and Q raised to power X minus K where X is equal to K K plus 1 up to so on. Now, as you know that P is equal to 1 by 2, Q will also equal to 1 by 2. What is K? So, they are saying that on third, uh, he will get the third head on the seventh flip. So, as K indicates the number of successes, K will be equal to 3. And uh, he or she is getting the third head on seventh flip, and your success is getting the head, so x will be equal to 7. So by substituting x is equal to 7, k is equal to 3, p is equal to 0.5, which is 1 by 2, and q is equal to 0.5, you will get 0.117, which is the probability of getting the third head on the seventh flip. Part number B, the first head on the fourth flip. So, the person is uh, tossing a coin and on the fourth flip, person will get the first head. So, K will be equal to 1 and X will be equal to 4. So, by substituting the values, you will get 0.125, which is the probability of getting the first head on the fourth flip. 